Bobby Celso, national referee. Second referee is Josie Del Rosario, international referee. And now let's meet the starters. First, for the cream line, cool smashers. Middle blocker from the College of St. Benilde, number six, Chinook Panuga. Opposite hitter from De La Salle University, number seven, Michelle Gumbabao. Setter from the Ateneo de Manila University, number 12, team captain, Gia Morado de Guzman. Middle blocker from the Far Eastern University, number 13, Seth Domingo. Outside spiker from the University of the Philippines, number 18, Tots Carlos. And outside spiker from Adamson University, number 23, Gemma Galanza. Starting the ball from FDU, number 11, Carla Atienza. And the head coach for Cleveland, Shuri Mignese. And now the starters for the Petrogas Angels. Middle blocker from De La Salle University, number two, Lourdes Clemente. Setter from the College of St. Benilde, number two, Janelle Chang. Outside spiker from San Sebastian College, Recoletos, number five, Gretzel Soltones. Opposite hitter from the University of Santo Tomas, number eight, Isa Maizo Pontillas. Middle blocker from the Far Eastern University, number nine, Ram Palma. And outside spiker from Bulacan State University, number 20, Jonas Sabete. Starting liberal from La Salle, number 18, Cien Cruz. And the head coach for Petrogas, Oliver Almadro. This game is held under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusements Board. It is Creamline versus Petrogas. This is the PVL, the heart of volleyball. There you go, the starting lineup for the two-time champions from 2022. And as Ayel pointed out, the winningest team of last year. No surprises there, except for the fact, if you still don't know, of course, Eliza Valdez will not play. We don't know until when, but so far she won't for Green Line. In the meantime, for the Petrogas Angels, there are a lot of changes, and we will discuss those changes as we go along. But two teams that constantly vie for championships here in the Premier Volleyball League, I hope. Again, also, it's going to be interesting to see how both teams lack their top scorers in cream line. Eliza Valdez is playing. And as we can see right now, MJ Phillips is not on the court for the Petrogas Angels. Tell me what is... We know what Eliza can bring. We know what kind of a loss. But what about the MJ Phillips factor? Ayan, lalo na she's coming off that conference na ang ganda-ganda ng linaro niya noong 2022. And to remind everyone that MJ Phillips actually won the best middle blocker award in the previous Green Sports Conference. So not her, not seeing her right now is giving a little bit of that confidence also to cream line because that intimidation factor in the middle isn't present in the petrogas angels and you have a new player filling in that that, that shoe in, in des clemente who's actually serving right now of course coming from the f2 logistics as you see first kill from Mitch Kumabao, and as everybody has mentioned, they have a full array of weapons even without the Phenom. And Mitch Kumabao, 2022, was probably one of the best bench players every time she came in. Always something good happening, kahit yung konting playing time lang niya. Uh, Ayel. Oh, she has been really an impact player yon, yon, yon. for Creamline, and we can see the adjustment that Creamline actually has done here. Tots Carlos is playing an outside hitter, something she has also done in some of their international tournaments Correct. last year. Because again, Eliza Valdez wasn't there after contracting Dengue that time. Correct. So and we we couldn't say that this is a, a new lineup or new adjustment for them because they've used this in the international in the international exposure last year. Lang naman. Sa international <laughs> scene lang naman ginamit yung lineup. <laughs> Here comes Tots from the left pin. And you can tell from the reaction of the Green Line fans, they miss her, Ayel. 
They miss the hair, they miss the aggressiveness, they miss her attacking, they just miss the whole package of the MVP. Yeah, and that's something that Tots Carlos also brings in every time she's in the court. It's her positive energy that she can really also contribute um, to her team. Wow, I was talking to her prior to the opening of the season. I told her, please, I don't want to see the, the normal, ordinary hair back anymore. 3-1 <laughs> for Greenline. Sabete rejected. Go to the other side. Great reaction by Petrogas. Mababa para kay Aiza. And check in once again with Alexis Tinsai. Coming from a championship last reinforced conference, the Petrogas Angels are indeed in high hopes of entering this competition with full force. And veteran Gas Angel Aiza Maiza Pontilia shared to me that the changes may be quick, but the adjustment, the resilience, and the maturity of the players are a lot quicker. Ipinaalala niya ang moto ng kanilang team na tuloy-tuloy ang laban. Lahat ng kulang ay ipupunan. With Coach O's guidance for Petrogas, we sure will be expecting a fresh dynamic movement. Even with just a few weeks training, mahikita natin ang kanilang core and battle strategy intact. Even they're gelling with Des Clemente, Z Herbasho, Heather Gino, and Jelly Temperatura. The Angels are ready to gas it up. Let's go back to exciting plays this set one. The debut of Coach O for a brand new team. Petrogas Angels, thank you, Alexis, Eliza Valdez. If you follow her, and I'm sure you do, You've seen her rehab work, jumping on and hopping onto the knee, she, getting closer. She actually went down on their last game in of, battle for third. on the battle for third right. in the reinforced conference last year. They did get the medal, they did get the podium finish, but at a price for Eliza Valdez. Petrogas settling themselves here. Yung blocking din ni MJ Phillips, as you mentioned earlier, yung dominating factor niya. Mawawala today. But Isa Maizopotilias targeting the opener from the left wing, Tots Carlos. And she, she will expect this, uh, Ayan, si Tots. Uh, she very well knows that, you know, when you're an outside hitter, you do a lot of receiving, a lot of spiking on the wing. But again, she said she's ready for this position. She's trained for this. She's stay patient and trying to learn this position. She said she just wants to play. <laughs> because she did not get a lot of playing time, obviously, in the reinforced conference as their reinforcement was an outside hitter. She's just so happy now that she will be back starting again. She does not question the coaching staff, though. She does not hold ill feelings. Dahil sabi niya, why would I take it against them? I trust their decision. I want championships. I want an MVP. How can I question them? So, okay lang siya that she didn't get enough playing time in the reinforced conference. She knows there's a bigger team goal. And talking about trust on the Petrogas Angel side, no, a lot of trust also put into the system of Coach O, given that he just joined the th team early on this year. So that's a very short time to actually prepare. January 10th is the, was the official announcement of the Coach O hiring as MG gets us going for this rally. Seven serving five. Sultones. San Domingo, another one of those MVPs swiping it away for point number eight. We will be back. Inside the Smart Araneta Coliseum for opening day of your Premier Volleyball League, the first and only professional volleyball league in the country. Over or almost 10,000 people in attendance. 
here at the Big Dome. Boom Gonzalez, Ayel Estranero, Creamline versus Petrogas. Uh, a PVL, a bona fide PVL rival, rivalry, you know. This is a, a rivalry na talaga. And, and that's also because we've seen how this both teams actually played so well before in the previous years and how much they know each other's system. So it's interesting how the system of Coach O will, will play against the system of Coach Sherwin in today's game. Good pick up. Chase down. Chance for white and red. Sultones off speed. Tots was there. They go back to Tots. Good pick up by Sabete. Aiza. Calanza. Tots again. Soft block. Cheng inside to Remy. Kitang kita ni MG. Sakit na dinala. And you know, one of the most dangerous counter attacking teams. This is what they like. They like to counter attack the Green Light Blue Smashers. And in that counter, Gia Morado gave that to said Domingo. Both players actually built a really good connection last year. Yeah. We've, we've seen said Domingo a standout year for her in 2022. She won the M finals MVP for the Invitational Conference last year. The Invitational was the, the only tournament where they lost two, two games, right? But they still won the championship, obviously, as Sabete from the back row. But again, Sabete has been a consistent contributor for the Petrogas Angels. From the front line to the back row, her elevation has always been his advantage in terms of attacks. Nine, check that six, will be serving nine. The veteran Rem Palma. Targeting Tots again. Bump set. Balik kay Kaloy. And a donut hole opened up for Petrogas there. Streamline ahead by four. Oh, seeing Tots Carlos play over the years, she just has really gotten smarter in terms of you no know, varying her attacks. And she looks healthy too. There was that ankle issue before that she was thinking of getting surgery for, pero hindi na natuloy at napaynga na, na rehab na ng mabuti. So she looks springy here in the All-Filipino Cup. Des Clemente, 7-10. A great decision by Cheng to actually give that set to Clemente. A lot of area for her to choose for that attack. Oh, what an attack again by MG. Clemente was actually in the right position, was a, but but was a little bit late in the jump. Said Domingo, gets us going for this rally with a four-point lead. Missed receive, so a chance ball given to Cream Line. Gia. Run and gun for Panaga. Great dig by Cheng. Soltones with the angle. It is wide. I would love to see a healthy Gretzel Soltones throughout the year. So we, we know what she is actually capable of. No, a lot. Angulo, ayan. Sobra lang. Sobra lang. Great angle for her. Clearly out. Five point lead, biggest lead. So Coach O calls a timeout. It's because para nakapwesto ay sila, nakapwesto siya at saka si Jonah para may yung makita nating advantage. Okay? So ganun lang. Nakaka-attack tayo, nakaka-receive tayo. So ibig sabihin, there's nothing to be, to be worried about. Ang importante lang natin yung area ng attack at patience sa setting, patience sa attack. Okay? Isa pa tayo. Isa pa tayo. You know, one of the things I'm also interested in with this dynamic of Coach O with its new group He's always handling young girls. We have Choco Mucho coming from college, Ateneo, obviously. This is probably the most veteran group that he's handled. I may be wrong. So that dynamic is new, and I don't. And I'm interested to see how it will work out. It might be good, you know, for both actually, for both. It's gonna be interesting how also the players will 
adopt the, the system and how Coach O also, like what he said, how, how will he adjust in terms of, you know, relating to the players, um, how, how he puts in that, that, that motivation factor given right. that he, he's handling, like what he said earlier, more veterans this time. Right. Six-point lead, biggest lead for the two-time 2022 champions. 13-7. Good first ball. Isa puts something into that. Gia. Gemma. Welcome to the game. <laughs> and that's nothing new. We've seen that uh, down the line attack uh, a couple of times last year. Yung nakaharap siya sa cross court, pero bigla niyang ita down the line. That's something she has already. No, na perfect niya talaga yung angle uh, na yan. No. One spike, oh. one score for her always in that attack. One point lang yun. One point lang. <laughs> her first point of the match. It's a thing of beauty. The, the way she cuts her body that way. Sultones. Chisaid comes into the ball game for the very first time here. Good pick up there. Counter. Great defense. That's great defense by Greenline. You know, the advantage of both teams is that they actually know, know the systems of each other, but it has also been their disadvantage in today's game because they pretty well know so much the system of each team. There's another thing that's working against Petrogas here. So I did say they're 0-6, right? In 2022. I believe the last win of Petrogas was 2019. So that means they're 0-13 in the last three years against this cream line team. 15-7 is the score. That is out. Sumobra, yung pihit of the legend from UST. Uh, Isa Pontilla is trying to use the hands of the blockers in the sequence. Oh, I think players forgot that there's a technical timeout at 16-7. That's how excited they are oh, to play today, Boom. It's a brand new year. We will be back. Inside the Smart Aradata Coliseum earlier today, if you missed it, Choco Mucho winning their first match with Coach Dante Alitsunurin in straight sets against the Akari Chargers. Sets number two and three were comeback sets. And what a great story, Ayel. You come back ni Madi Madeago, though she came back already last conference, but like to serve lang, like to sweep. But this time she was a middle blocker, she was aggressive, she was our player of the, of the match. A great story, feel good on the very first day of the PVL. Welcome back, Maddie. You know, welcome back, really. She played so well. She looked she looked more confident. Parang you know, really wala, happy eh. to be back playing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Panagan and Gigil underneath the ball. Nicole Tiamzon in the front line with Des Clemente. Aiza Maiza Pontillas. She side replaced Janelle Cheng. Uh, so far. Petrogas Angels struggling to adjust with the speed that Streamline is playing. Dots receiving. <laughs> Combination play. No, Streamline is really known for their combination plays. They've been very efficient in that department. Bentang benta, ayel. Dalawa ang hinugot ni Pants. And that's also credit to the delay of the set of Gia de Guzman. Great point. Skirting the net. Aiza. Oh, they're able to save it. Good dive by Cruz. Aiza again. Gia shoots it. 
to Gemma. And Gemma punches it through for the 18-8 lead. Back-to-back so -back points for Gemma Galanza. So far, Cream Lion just really playing perfect volleyball in all departments. Sumilit muna si Gemma sa defensa. The elevator in for Cream Lion. Jumps on this time. 18-9 is the score. Long game to play. Whether it's this set or second, third set, we have Petrogas still maybe shaking off a little rust, trying to get used to everybody, including this girl who was a two-time best middle blocker in the uh, NCAA in season 92 and 93, before she moved to LaSalle in the UAAT. Uh, she says, promise me check, sabi ni MG. So they're going to challenge this one for a block touch. Our first challenge of the second game. Same rules apply, as uh, Ayan pointed out. Same format from uh, all the tournaments last year. Well, except for the Invitational, of course. Uh, and uh, same rules for the challenge. Uh, but this time, in this All-Filipino Conference, of course, we use the challenge from the very start of this tournament, which, is, uh, which was used a lot also in our first game earlier. And it's a really great advantage for all the teams, especially in the most crucial parts of the game, the, the challenge system. It could really turn around a lot of things for teams. MG was quite sure. <laughs> so successful challenge. They keep that and they score a point. Now serving, Gemma Galanza. Gemma Galanza now serving. Palma. Dot sends it over. Side opens up to Tiamzon. Rejected by Mitch. The, that was read well by Panaga and Gumabao. Two blockers already in front of Tiamzon in that sequence. No coverage at all for the Petrogas Angels. Mitch is so solid, isn't she? Paran, very efficient. No wasted movements, no frills, no flair. She does what she's ne she needs to do. Rem tips it over. And Mitch scores again. She's having a ball too, having so much court time right now. No, you just called it a very efficient player, Michelle Gumabao. And that's years, years of experience also. The decision making really is phenomenal. 12 point lead. Able to play today in attendance here. And this very strong crowd, Smart Araneta Coliseum. Her team ahead by 12. What you pick up from that timeout, Ayel? Oh, just really reminding his players to stay calm and really you know, try to adjust to the system of Cream Line. Nothing to worry about. Agapa. Good block. Rem and Isa. But again, we've also known Petrogas as you know a team that can come back even uh, with a lot of points on top of them. Of course, the bosses, Miko Halili, Shena Olaso, from Signal TV in attendance. As Mitch continues to fire away. <laughs> Terrible, 
She's always, always had power, that's for sure, as we see Coach uh, Jorge and family here at the Araneta Coliseum enjoying some family time and also scouting, I suppose. Well, maybe not that very moment, <laughs> but uh, I'm sure he'll be watching these two teams. His team went down in three sets earlier today against Chocomucho. Lead is 12. No touch, says Bobby Celso. Vargas says Meron. Oh, we see the streamline players really confident of their challenge. Parang nakita niya na ubakyat ng bagya yung bola. So let's see, Rosemary Vargas who just came in for Tots Carlos. Another challenge here in set number one. And this is a team that is ahead by 12 and are three points away, but every point counts. And I'm sure at this point, Ayel, they're coming from a conference of Masama, you know, it, not only Masama, but it left a bitter taste the way the year ended. They're still in the podium, obviously, so I'm sure coming into this year, they're uh, extra motivated. Extra motivated, and I'm pretty sure they worked a lot over the break. If may break man sila, yeah. for sure, it was just Christmas and New Year. They, they started early, for sure, as a team, you know, a team with a winning culture. They've, all, they've always won to be on top, and it's hard for them mm. to... It, it was a first time in a long time that they weren't in the final. So you know, yeah. it, it, I'm pretty sure it, it took a toll on them, and it actually inspired them more and motivated them even more that they should you know, work harder to put themselves in a higher level this time. Because again, the, the volleyball, the system, the competition, it has also leveled up, yeah. and it forces teams to actually level up as well. Right. And that's a great point about no breaks because last year they would only get three days of breaks in between conferences because again the national team stint, diba? Right? Then the trip to Thailand, then come back and then the reinforced conference opened up. I did ask uh, some of the players was burnout a factor and they said, well, I, I mean in Manila, in the, they were physically and mentally drained also. There was no block touch this time for Green Line. So an unsuccessful challenge. Chami. Vargas, Papa Bowie in Nijia. Gretzel, Haba nung galabay ni Domingo, still able to tip it. Isa Cooley digging that one, but a chance ball going to the two time champions. And said Domingo again delivers. He can't give that kind of an easy chance ball to Dreamline for sure. They will maximize it. And it was a chance for Gia de Guzman to actually set up said Domingo with only one blocker in front of her. You know, every year in the last two years, I always ask them, who do you think improves the most every year? Eliza usually two years ago said, Tots, abangan mo yung Tots, naging MVP. She told me, Abangan mo yung San Domingo, naging finals MVP. They told me this year, watch out for Lori Bernardo and her improvement for Creamline. She just entered the court right now, the former UP Fighting Maroon. Laki daw ng improvement in training, so we'll look at that and see. So, Tones with a great angle. That's the one that we know. And a much needed point for Petrogas Angels. That's a beast. That we know. Look at the swing, full leap. One of the best outside hitters of the All Filipino Conference last year. That's Lori. Joined Creamline last year, late last year, leaving UP. They go to Lori right away. Sultones. And this is also a new position that she's playing. I, I, you know? was <laughs> I was surprised. I was surprised. Because in UP, di ba, sa gitna siya. Dito. Left to win. She's actually playing opposite in today's game. But Sultan is back-to-back points. If you're Petrogas, you want to get some momentum. Even if you let go of this set, you want to get some momentum going into the second. Des Clemente does her job there. Three straight points. A block point for 
Clemente in that sequence. Oh, said Domingo was fully covered in that sequence. Happy for her, she will get a lot of playing time here, especially with the injury of MJ Phillips. Over received. Uy, nagigil si Sultones. But it still works out. Four straight points. Now, miscommunication there on the cream line side. But sure, we're not calling a timeout. He still has an eight point cushion. Set number one. That is sent out for the set point for Creamline. Oh, Jali Tempiatura makes her Petrogas debut here. Former Adamson Falcon Libero. She last played in 2021 with the Perla Spikers. Perla, that's right. Isa pang mga, mga dating Perlas din dyan. Sila Chami, sila Z, of course. Ervasio is now with the team. And this is what we mean. They may lose this set, Ayel, as they're still down by eight, but at least they got some momentum, some plays going. And that's very important because a lot of times, momentum carries over to the next set. Saving one set point. Oh, great dig by Tempiatura. And that's the value. Yamson effective on the back row attacks. Two points for her already in that sequence. It's good to see Jelly again. You competed against her, right? I, and I played with, against her also in, in college. With, yeah. with Motelite. Ah, before. that's right. You're right. You're right. It's Clemente's fingers getting the tip block, saving four set points. And Gia and Michelle will come back here. Nina Susugal, she coach Sherwin. Clemente contributing a lot in the first line of defense of the Petrogas Angels. Final substitution para sa cream line. Bobby Celso and Jocelyn Del Rosario at the helm. Refereeing. Wow, and it is Seb who puts it away. A familiar play from Gia de Guzman. 25-18 is our score for the first set. De Guzman was already on her knees, but still forced that set to Domingo. Always successful every time they do that combination. We change courts. No, the team's win for our second set, which we will bring you after a break. Welcome back to the Smart Araneta Coliseum. To all our viewers, by the way, who are watching us on One Sports and One Sports Plus, and of course on the Signal Play app, and our Smart subscribers watching on the Smart Live Stream app. Good evening, Philippines. Boot Gonzalez, Ayel Estanero. We are working with Alexis Tinsai, of course, for the second game of our Saturday doubleheader. And the Cool Smashers getting ahead 25 18 after set number one, a dominant set uh, uh, for them. A dominant set really for the Dream Line Pool Smashers. Gia de Guzman as usual doing great job in set distribution. Carlos played well, scored a lot. Bernardo also scored. We have Gumabao. We have Domingo also that she has set up well. But again, it was the speed of the, the game Ooh. of uh, the Dream Line that Petrogas Angels had a difficult time in adjusting, but it took a while for them to adjust. They found their momentum towards the second half of the set, but that, was, that wasn't that was enough to actually catch up with the score of the cream line. 
What are the bright spots? If you're a Petrogas fan, you're watching that. What can you take from that first set? Some positives that you can take for Coach O, who is, uh, well, has his first set in his pocket. No, but so far in terms of statistics, in terms of attacks, really, Dreamline Coast Smashers dom dominated with 18, Petrogas with only 9. But again, in terms of defense, they're better on the net. They had three blocks with only one of Dreamline, and both actually actually limiting their errors yes. to just Petrogas with six and Dreamline yeah. with five. And going back to your question, mm. uh, Boom, it, the, the bright spot here for Petrogas is that what works for them is that they're able to attack both in the back row and the front row. Mm. We, we saw Tiam Zon actually scoring a lot in the back row. Mm. Des Clemente stepping up without MJ Phillips on the lineup right, right. now. So actually, they have that complete pieces for them. It's just that they have to, you know, build the gelling more, yeah. the chemistry, and right. start strong. Because playing against Creamline, you can't start slow. You have to start strong because, you know, from the get-go, Creamline already plays fast. Yeah. They get the jump on you, right? And uh, right now, the jump is the first set. They take that one by 7 points, 25-18. Coach O right there on the floor. And the new team that he has with the Petrogas Angels. His old team, Choco Mucho Flying Titans, winning earlier today against the Akari Power Chargers. The former Adamson setter who uh, played, who well, well, was part of Adamson University for 18 years. From you know high school and then the like, beach volleyball, then she indoor. He became a captain of the team of uh, Adamson University, and then eventually ended up as an assistant coach and then coach. Left Adamson in 2014, and uh, fast forward to now, he is holding on to a couple of championships. Talking about Sherwin Meneses. No, that's a lot of years as a player and as a coach. But he still looks like he was look <laughs> coaching in college. I ko nga sa kanya, coach, hindi ka tumatanda. Look at him. It's still the same look. Dumaan pa nga na Ateneo yan, remember? Yeah, he was also exactly, coach yeah. Thais, uh, assistant. And he still looks the same. And here we go. Second set action. It is Chi Sayat who will get us going. Kumabao. Delayed by the block, underhand to Isa. And a chance to set here. Atienza will go to Gemma. Confusion on defense. Gemma didn't know where she was going to go with that sequence. Kaya huli siya umabot. Yeah, and so Tony saw it and yeah. actually took advantage of that uh, delayed block by Galanza. This is a good sign that they get their first point here. 1-0. That drops in. No, no, sorry. Check that. That was out. Uh, I thought it touched the line. That was so near the line, though. In our view, it looks yeah. like it was inside. Ch Chanel Cheng was the one who started for Petrogas. And now it's Chi Saet that Coach O is going to go with. Gemma Galanza with three points in that first set. Those high hands, Soltones did. Thoughts swings away. In our view, we can really see how fast the players of Dreamline actually, the blockers of Petrogas, no, at most times is no late in closing the block, mm. giving their attackers, giving the attackers of Dreamline a lot of space. So they take the lead right away. Even on defense. Dreamline quick on their feet. Panaga. Too tight. They're going to award, though, the point. Bobby Celso saw a touch from Mitch. Nimuna inamin. Pero inamin did eventually. We saw Gumaba actually admit her mistake. <laughs> Two-all. Panaga again. That's sent back. 
But the Sultan is unable to keep it in play. But I'm so happy to see Gretzel like play on throughout sets. She looks healthy right now, uh, Ayel. And again with you know the absence of Myla Pablo is actually now with F2. Uh, a lot of pressure also for her. She she needs to really step up and produce points for the Petrogas Angels. And Pablo will see action with F2 on Tuesday. In the meantime, I miss Alexis Tinsai. Where is she? Is she around? Yes, Alexis, come on. I'm here, Boom and Ayel, and having the team fully intact, strong, and ready to defend the local title, Gia Morado de Guzman, with a smile of confidence and comfort, told me that it is truly indeed an advantage to have a jump start on team chemistry, given that there are no changes in Kareem Line's lineup. Capitana Gia, as of the moment, reminded her teammates that the more pressure they let in, the less creativity and dominance over the court for her playing with drive and knowing her teammates by heart is what Elias Valdez would want for them. Even with Lai's current state of recovery, Creamline will always be playing as if she was also in the court. And just like in their last year's ABC stint, they are here to prove that their all-Filipino team is not replaceable and therefore possibly the best. Let's go back to this play, this set two. 4-3 is the score. Another piston play for the Green Line Cool Smashers boy from our vantage point AL. We were right behind that flight path of thoughts and it looked good. And Carlos just really intentionally going for that angle. That's a Gap Chairman Attorney Richard Clarin joining us here at the Smart Araneta Coliseum. Good evening, sir. Got a nice smile on his face because he knows he's seeing some high level swinging between Petrogas and Creamline at the net. There she is. How painful is it that you can't contribute to the team? More difficult for her also because she's the captain no, of the team. Again, Dots Carlos varying her attack, cheating the block, and then off speed. Great set by Morado and quick thinking by Carlos to go for that top spin attack. Goes to the jump serve. Eyes are from behind. Atienza with a pickup. Ooh, that's a tough one. Point for Petrogas. Little tough ask from Gia to set it from. I mean, we know how talented she is, but even her, we're gonna have a hard time with that chase. Better start here for Petrogas, 6 5. Gemma. Kretschel. May sumabit to net, and it is set to bingo. Boy, that power is back from Lady Beast. Oh, we're, we're seeing the usual Petrogas that we actually know better defense and offense for them in the start of the set. Gia bumps it to the other side. Chami. Rem. Oh! Not that time. Palma moving too fast in that sequence. Uh, she actually saw now wala na yung blockers in front of her. She was trying to score a point right away. 7 6. That's Risa Sato, of course, for the Creamline Cool Smashers. What a serve by Set. Sharp serve by Set Domingo. Oh, look at that. And then dropping at the last moment, Ayel. Well, that was a really tough one to receive for sure. Goes to the same spot. Chami takes it. Wow, Rem able to keep herself in play. Oh, great adjustment by Palma in the sequence. 8-7, we have a technical timeout. And Petrogas for the first time is ahead.
Back inside the Smart Araneta Coliseum on a Saturday evening. A oh, great turnout. Ah, some people just miss volleyball so much, the BBL so much. Earlier in the game, where Choco Mucho and Akari was electric and continues here in our second game. We're happy to have you with us for those who are watching on TV. One Sports, One Sports Plus, the Signal Play app, and of course our smart subscribers on the Smart live stream app. Our pleasure to bring the first and only professional volleyball league to you. And what a what a find by Red Palma for the two-point lead. Well, we saw Carlos and Dumabao just looking at the ball. They thought it was already going out, but it actually it was very inside in our perspective. The, you can Pwede mo silang tambakan, pwede mo silang iwanan, but they're not gonna panic. They're just gonna kind of reset and recover because they're all veterans. And you look at that lineup right now, other than Des Clemente, in this level, ang dami nang na-achieve at nilaro nung mga yan. As individuals and as a right. team, they're, they're very resilient. You know, they, they, they know how to, like what you said earlier, restart and recover, you know, from from a set loss or an error. Galanza. Isa able to pick it up. Jami with a push and Panaka with a denial. MJ Phillips, you saw her earlier on screens for those who tuned in late. Uh, out with her shoulder rehab. She's been rehabbing that shoulder. Gia de Guzman. She was the best setter also last open conference. They'll allow that one. So they go back to Gretzel. Lumosut a block, but they have another chance here. Sayet, run and gun for Clemente. Atienza to Mitch. Goes long, and it is too long. They think there's a touch. Gia thinks, oh no, they think it's inside. A long rally this time. Ball in, ball out challenge. With a 10 8 scoreline right now, Petrogas in the lead earlier. They were down a set 25 18. A 12-point lead, the biggest lead Kanina, by the way, ah, in the uh, first set para sa cream line. So, it is out, so the challenge is unsuccessful for cream line. They lose that challenge. If you can see there in our scoreboard, those uh, orange uh, buttons or balls uh, represent the challenges remaining. So, Petrogas intact. What is... Uh, what is what is Petrogas doing different or doing right, Ayel, how they're able to change the course of this game? You know, one thing they've uh, changed actually is just their aggressiveness. They're, they're, they're more aggressive right now. They're playing more confident because in terms of skills, they already have that. It's just a matter of actually, you know, putting in that extra effort and being more confident in the game because they've played Dreamline a lot of times before. Speaking of confidence, her confidence is up. Hey, yung sa block natin, hawak tayo lang konti, hawak. Ha? Ay, say say lang ulit natin. Ganun lang talaga. Gemma, pag may pagkakataon, ikot. Okay, okay. Go, 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 go. Okay, let's go all in. Yay, green line! Happy! Just a quick reminder by Coach Sherwin about their blocking. Mm -hmm. That if it's possible for them to, kahit touch lang para ma recover Soft na lang yung, uh, yung bola. Because you know, one thing we've noticed also, like what I've said earlier, Petrogas is being more aggressive in their offense. They're they're spiking more power attacks and they're not playing safe anymore as they were doing in the first set. That girl on your screens earlier, five points, Gretzel. Soltones, Carlos with six in the meantime. Those are the leading scorers. Check that. Gumabal is the leading scorer for Cream Line with eight. The touch will be called on Petrogas. 
So four is the biggest lead for Petrogas. Twelve is the biggest lead for Creamline. Gemma will do the honors. Sayat. Oh, this is a great matchup now that I see it right in front of each other. In flight, Soltones and Carlos. Again, Soltones using the hands of Carlos in the sequence. But there's a challenge here by Coach Sherwin again. A net touch on Gretzo. Si Soltones Dao. We'll see that. On the swing, siguro, no? Maybe on her way down in that mm. attack. Especially that uh, the ball was a bit set low for her. She was trying to force that attack. She scraped it? Yes, she did. Eagle eye. Boy, but you see the, the aerial battle. It's a nice view of Sultanes and Carlos. Different uh, generations but, of uh, wing spikers. But two very aggressive Powerful. and very reliable yeah. outside hitters. Lalakas, lalakas tumalon, lalakas tumampas. And speaking of reliable, Isa Maisa Montillas. Montillas, a quiet contributor for the Petrogas Angels. Oh, they're going to challenge for a net touch this time. 12-10 is our scorer so far here in set number one. We had a 25-18 first set earlier. Petrogas Angels. As we mentioned, no more Myla Pablo, no more uh, uh, in their team. Bank Pineda, which by the way is a big loss also, Bank Pineda. Bank Pineda, their first libero, a very reliable in, in defense as well. Tama yung tawag ni Bobby Celso. Another scrape of the net. So humabul na dito. Courtesy of those unsuccessful challenges. Well, one successful by Creamline and one unsuccessful by Petrogas. And Saltones continues to rack up the points. Six now. Saltones earlier going for powerful attack. Switching this time. Just dropping the ball behind the box. 13 serving 11. Seth Rodriguez also one of those that they lost. Bang Pineda, of course, now with Akari. Sultanes with a dig. Tiami with the angle. Good reaction by Gia to keep this possession alive. Chi goes low. Oh! And what a job by Gia de Guzman, Ayel, for those two plays. Just her reaction to keep it in play. Her reaction and her decision-making, actually, who to give that set. Great <laughs> defense also for her. And again, for... for, for Sapa. And another, <laughs> another pickup. For Greenline also, given their international exposure, it's and having a lineup that everyone's a mainstay. Mm. It's just a matter of perfecting the, oh! the system. Are you kidding me? That is an incredible attack by Chami, but the reaction of thoughts with the one hand dig sending it to the other side. A great attack by Tiamzon. Great angle actually, Good but day. Carlos was in the perfect spot. Spot for the <laughs> defense, get one hand lang, no? it, it was still good for Green Line. I'm telling you, it's the hair. <laughs> Isa targets the long ball. Never bothered. No, Isa Pontillas is the kind of player 
who sees the blockers and knows what kind of attack to use. 14, serving 13. Good take. Chami squeezes it in between the block. Kim Son using a lot of power and angle in that attack. You know, and as a player, she's also known as someone who can easily use the blockers in front of her. Clemente with a two-point lead for Petrogas. Atienza to Tots who adjusts. Nicole was there. She delays it. And the joust won by the veteran. 16-13. Petrogas ahead. Watching the return of the first and only professional volleyball league in the country, your premier volleyball league. Also, Bingo Plus, the first live streaming bingo in the Philippines. Boom Gonzalez, Ayel Estanero with us. As it is 16-13 Petrogas, their fans are happy that uh, not only are they competing here in the second set, they are ahead. They've been ahead almost from the start. It's tougher than it really looks on screen, you know? that, that pass of, of Gia and that connection with Sed, that is repetition, 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 as you know I am. I very well know, I can attest to that. It's a lot of you know, repetition and days of training to perfect that kind of a play and connection between the setter and the middle attacker. Butas, they get it. Thoughts adjusts, and nobody home. Nobody behind Palma for coverage. 16-15. Good job for Palma for actually slowing down that drop from Tots Carlos, but no coverage for the Petrogas Angels. After that, yeah, Jamie couldn't get that foot in front of her. So, I'm up with that. Girls, what we do is maximize for natin to nang nandito si Jamie. Ito dito, meron pa tayo nito. Okay, now, hanggat may pagkakataon tayo, Chi, dito yan, dalawa, babantayan yung dalawa dito. Jamie. Okay, now. We start with good pass. Nakaka-receive tayo. Naintindihan? So convert. Again, short goal. Short goal. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, Coach O reminding his players to maximize the back row attack. All right. In the meantime, Ayel, let's uh, check in with Alexis Tinsai. Boom and Ayel, I wanted to share to you that I got to chat with Des Clemente a while ago and she opened up to me regarding how within a few weeks' time, she was challenged by Coach O to overcome her jitters and remember her fire for playing in the middle during her LaSalle days. It's been a while since the Baba draw she support. Des told me as she only played in her former team as a role player. Pero ngayon, kita natin sa Gaz Angels, pinupush daw niya ang kanyang sarili to go back to her former form more than that malampasan pa ang kanyang former skill. Kills. Let's see if the Petrogas Angels will encapsulate their newly formed gelling and maintain their advantage over the set. Of course, uh, Alexis, as uh, we all know, coming from the F2 Logistics, itong si Des Clemente from the LaSalle system. Prior or after, of course, her four years in perpetual help, as said Domingo continues to swing and continues to deliver. 
great rally for both teams, but that a quick attack from Domingo was just too fast for the Petrogas Angels to defend. Thoughts back with the jump serve, 17-16. Did not heat, uh, hit the ball cleanly, but still got it across. Ooh. So smart by Nang. Veteran moves there. <laughs> vet, yun yun, vet moves. Huwag pa natin pahihirapan sarili natin. And look at oh, her. She was very confident in deciding to just push yeah. that ball on zone 2. Hindi mo may tuturo yung mga ganyan. That's years and years of experience. Saet to Palma. Gia and Seth again. And Domingo starting to rack up points. Eight now for the former FEU, the Lady Tamara. The Guzman really maximizing the presence of Domingo in front. Really feeding her. And Domingo also delivering at the same time. And now showcasing an improved serve too, which I hope I didn't jinx. Hindi, <laughs> 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 and, and that's the thing with Dreamline as well. They, they can score from the serve. Yeah, they're very aggressive with the serve. They're always or mostly the, the highest attacking team in every conference. They're also pro prone to errors, but it's because of their attacking. aggressiveness. And, uh -oh. Their efficiency and attacks always compensates for their errors in the defense. But look at that improved serve. It really looks good here for the All-Filipino. Calanza. Cruz. Tight set again, but Cruz was there for coverage. A smart play by Gretzel. A great, great job by Cien Cruz, by the way. Great defense by Cruz. They're going to challenge this. They claim that there was a foot fault. Wow, oh, so Coach Sherwin is saying they they challenged in time. I think Jocelyn Del Rosario was saying that it wasn't in time. She didn't hear the challenge in time. Is that what it is? But Gia de Guzman talking to Bobby Celso. It seems like they're not allowing the challenge. So it is a matter of timing, and you know? that's what they're saying. At least that's what I'm interpreting from the referees. So challenge not accepted. Both have one. And it's a tight one that might, that might come into play at the end of this set. Overpass, but they still score. Sion talking about vet moves. And so far, Petraga scoring in, in the drop balls. Second time out by Coach Sherwin here in set number two. Timeout, you see Eliza Valdez rushing to Gemma Galanza, maybe with a few things. It's it's different when you're also on the bench, you get to see some stuff uh, that uh, maybe some players who are playing are un unable to see. And that's one way that she has found for her to actually contribute to her teams, remind them, you know, with a little adjustments uh, on the side. 
20 serving 18. Well, whatever Eliza said might have worked. <laughs> <laughs> Galanza scoring right away after that short reminder from Badas. Magaling na masunurin pa. <laughs> 19 serving 20, Gia de Guzman. 1 0 in terms of sets. It's a faulty set by Chi. Now we're tied. Now the pressure is on. Coach O will call his timeout this time. Now, Chi, kailangan natin magamit ito. Kailangan natin magamit ito. Kailangan natin magamit ito. Okay, now, huwag natin madaliin si Gretsch at saka si Chami. So you can swing properly. Move back and swing properly. Alam niyo kung saan yung area, especially pag wala tayong quick. Pag may quick, do your thing. Kasi po sa atin, I want to swing properly. One stop muna, one stop. One stop, one stop. The lead is vanished now. So that's the second time out. What you get from that one? No, Coach O, reminding uh, Saed to actually slow down a little bit so that her attackers can actually have better approach and better form in terms of attack. 20 all. Cruz. Great dig by Tots. Hinatid sa kabila. Aiza able to pick it up. Cross court. Chia. Chema again countering. Aiza sends it over. Chia will choose the back set. And they take over the lead. So after the Coach Sherwood timeout, that's three straight points. From 18-20, they are up 21-20. We talked about how resilient Petrogas is as a team, but also Creamline has gone through a lot. You know, they learned a lot in their international exposure as well, giving them that advantage also how to come back in games like this. Chami from behind. Touch from behind. Guiding that ball in the middle. And a two-point lead and a 4-0 run. Well, Tots Carlos doing a great job in actually faking that drop ball attack in the middle. Look at that. Last minute change of speed and form. Chami Patras yung pa, kaya na wrong foot na talaga siya. Di na siya makarecover. Creamline looking for a finishing kick here. Sayat opens up to Gusoltones, rejected. Balik kay Gretzel. Off speed doesn't work. Boy, Michelle is hitting that ball hard, Ayel. One more time! Ooh. Cruz with the pickup. Soltones. Des unable to put it away. Another chance for Galanza. Crowd is into it. Rejected at the net. Credit that point to the two liberos of the team, both liberos of Dreamline and Petrogas actually doing a good job in terms of defense, allowing their team to actually have a counter attack. But Dreamline was successful in that rally. Gabarda now inside the match, as this is a 5 0 run. Good reaction there. And a confusion between Botillas and Gabarda. Oh, that was like a free point for Dreamline. Somebody's happy. 6 0 bomb unleashed by Dreamline here. Another one sent back. Recovered by Gia. Galanza will tip it. Syed will go to Isa. That is out. And what a comeback. 
by Creamline, shutting down Petrogas at the end of this second set. And they finished it with a very consistent service of Gia de Guzman. A great showing for Creamline, but also a great start for Petrogas, but they weren't able to finish well in this set. 25-18, 25-20. Twenty-five, eighteen, twenty-five, twenty, and a seven-zero bomb unleashed by the Open and Invitational champions. Uh, how did this game turn just like that? Uh, yeah, it was a heavy loss for Petrogas. They started really well. They were ahead from start until the second half of the set. But again, when the score reached twenty. Creamline just snatched away that set away from them. Creamline started to play perfect volleyball from the service line down to their counter attacks when their score reached 20 until 25. But again, great effort by both teams in defense. But like what we said earlier, it's the attacking efficiency of Creamline that is really going so well for them. I, I feel like the longer the rallies, and this is in general against Creamline, if you prolong the rallies, you're you're decreasing your chances of getting that point uh, because they love these long rallies. They love to counterattack at the uh, And it, it's not just the rallies also. It's the entire set. They just play even better as the set mm. goes on. Mm. So when they reach 20, they play their best in that part of the set. As we can see here, in, in terms of statistics, they have more attacks with the 14, Petrogas only with 10. They have two blocks, Petrogas with one. Both teams with one service ace each. And again, both teams a little bit limiting, but a little higher compared to their first set in terms of errors. Both teams yeah. have eight errors. The masakit sa errors and that we won't see in that in this graphic is the timing of the errors that came for Petrogas at the end of the set. No, ex Yun ng masakit. Exactly. When they needed that point the most, uh, that's where they, they actually made it, the error. Which is really uncharacteristic for a veteran team. They were up 2018. Coach Sherwin called the timeout and from then on, 7-0 to get two sets to love. Now, I said that they they won six games over Petrogas in 2022. I believe they won four games in 2021 and three games in 2020. So all in all, that's a 13-game winning streak so far by Creamline over Petrogas since the 2019 reinforced conference when Petrogas won their championship, which they defended last year. 13-0. Here's another thing. Now that Coach Oliver Almadro is in this team, and obviously, he was the coach of Choco Mucho. He also has not won against, against Creamline as part of Choco Mucho. So there are some big losing streaks here that Petrogas badly wants to stop. Oh, so Petrogas is actually still in the process of trying to figure out how to beat Creamline because in all the, their games, they would stay close. Mm -hmm. They would be ahead in terms of sets. They, they would rally a lot. But, you know, but... At the end of it, uh, they, they've never won against Streamline for a long, long time. Ganda nung uh, second set. It really was panning out as a perfect set for, for Petrogas. But as, as we know, until you finish the job, it's never done. So now we get to set number three. Earlier, it was a straight set victory 
for Chocomucho over Akan. Palma gets us going. Side activating Palma early on the set. Tepiatura, one of the new additions for Petrogas. Alternating with Cien Cruz as the Liberos. Of course, Bank Pineda has left after winning the championship. It has gone to the Akari Chargers. Aiza. Temperatura. Chi goes back to Aiza. 2 0. Well, that's the advantage when you're able to activate your middles early on the set. It gives more space for your wing attackers also, given that you're able to confuse the middle blockers of the opponent. Kabi pitik talaga ng kamay ni Aiza, no? 3-0. Petrogas Angel starting the same way as they started the second set. Again, they target thoughts. And you receive. Thoughts again. This time, he the ball to Gia. Tepiatura was there. Rem tippy toes at the net. Gemma finds a hole. Isa gets a hand on it. Not enough. And it, has, it has been an issue of Petrogas Angels. They would get the first ball, struggle to get it. But, you know, when it comes to the second ball, uh, no one is actually there to help out. Rare service error here for Gemma Galanza. So, are cute to send it over to Alexis Tinsa. Boom and AL, I ask Michelle Gomabao, how does she keep things extra exciting even if it's Creamline's end season? At sinagot niya sa akin, syempre sino bang hindi ma-excite? Third place kami last season, talaga namang gigil na gigil kaming bumawi. And with that, Michelle Gomabao is banking on a more solidified gameplay with the cool smashers with ever-growing appreciation of Coach Sherwin System. As one of the others in the team this season, Michelle said it's all about the members being vocal about what they need on their side of the court. Every Everyone is equal. That is why everyone is expected to step up. The game continues as Jeanette Panaga serves this ball. You know, Alexis, uh, Mitch has found a home here in Cream Line after, you know, this is our seventh year here in the Premier Volleyball League. Yeah. Of course, uh, she has gone to a couple of teams and has really settled in. And won the championship, by the way. With, uh, Badly pure, if I'm not mistaken, also. But I settled in here with Cream Line and is still looking good. Baba going to a lot of angles with her power attacks, always successful, but credit also to the setting of Gia de Guzman in that sequence, only one blocker in front of Kumabao. He's got so much power. Heavy handed. Yami. But talking about heavy handed, Yamson also has her own version of using the blockers in front of her. Former UP Lady Maroon, former captain also. And uh, just like you, Ayel, has played several positions also for, for UP. Played as a setter, an open attacker, uh, a few times as an opposite hitter as well. Four will be serving six. Solid first ball. Yung uh, higa ni Gretzel Sultan is here, eh, bumalik na. No? And that, that Higa is like a delay for her to actually wait for the blockers to go down. And that's when she hit. Look at her. Look at her just oh, perfect form. Again, we always wish all of these players 
sustain their health all throughout the season. Kasi doon na natin nasasabi na magkakasubukan talaga lahat ng teams with everybody's healthy. Unfortunately for these two teams, they start their season with some key players in the injury list. Eliza Valdez for Cream Line and MJ Phillips for Petrogas. Very smart hit for Rem. It is 8-5, technical timeout. We will be back. Five is our score as we return from this first technical timeout of set number three. Again, for those watching us on One Sports and One Sports Plus and on the Signal Play app and our smart subscribers on the Smart Livestream app. Good evening. We are here at the Smart Araneta Coliseum for the game between Creamline and Petrogas with Creamline two sets to love. Ahead here in this match. Chi Syed will do the honors to get our rally started. That's in. Oh no, it's out. But Coach O wants to challenge that. Uh, even the players were confident that it was inside. Ball in, ball out challenge. At 8 5. Leading scorer for the Petrogas Angels is Gretzel Sultanis with 8, followed by Isa Maizopontilias with 6. Sorry, that's 9 points rather for Sultanis, and then 8 for Pontilias, 10 for Gumabao, and Tots Carlos on the other side, backed up by Seth Domingos 9 and Pangs Panagas 7. Very good scoring actually. On both sides, there was also Rem Palma with five points. And Nicole Tiamson with eight points for herself. Good call by Coach O. Though those scores actually show the good setting distribution of the setters for both teams, Saet and De Guzman. <laughs> Tempiatura dives. Oh, it doesn't go over. Sultan is trying to go for a Hira cut dun. shot. Umiikot sa air is again silly. That is tough. And a tape of the net catching that one. Six serving nine. Biggest lead so far is four here in the third. Nice sharp serve. Palma, perfect contact on that ball. Palma has been delivering a lot of points for Petroga so far in this set. Not the strongest hit, but perfect redirection. Lead back to four. Gia. Ooh. To Panaga. Panaga with her own version also. Casually. <laughs> Dumping it to the other side. Power tip. Good first ball. Isa was ready. Oh, what an angle. But it's out. Pontilias intentionally going for that angle, but just too much power in that sequence. So that four-point lead is gone, down to two. Oh, 
Eight serving dead. Good recovery there by Petrogas. And that's the correct play. You know, when the defense is scrambling back, you go for the quick. And again, you know, every time you give Greenland a chance ball, they know how to maximize it. Gretzel was there, but just a little bit too late in their action. Lead down to one. Petrogas having a hard time maintaining leads here in sets number two and three. It's also because Dreamline, you know, they, they play consistently, like what we mentioned earlier, from start to finish. They just play consistent volleyball. So it's difficult for the opponent to give them a lot of free, free points because they're already scoring points for themselves. Mm. Cruz to Syed. Oh, Tots was there in time. Counter here. Tiamzon. That bounces out. Good decision by Sim. Great timing for Panaga, but the angle of her block wasn't well established. Eleven serving nine. Gia goes behind. Des sends it back right away. Back set. Oh, wrong foot. That was too fast for the blockers of Petrogas to actually react. I don't want to challenge a footfall here. The back row on the back row attack, apparently. That's what. Oh, is going to challenge. 11-10, third set. Who was the back row? Was it Tots? Well, it was Galanza. Ah, Gemma. And they seemed uh, adamant about it, talking about the coaching staff. No, it was actually the rally before a point was given to Creamline. Oh, Jocelyn and Jocelyn uh, Del Rosario, our second referee. The side will talk to Bobby Celso in the meantime. Clarification. There's a conversation there with the first referee. I don't know if we can catch it. And the conversation is still ongoing. I think they're, they're, they're trying to explain that when you try to challenge that certain rally, you have to challenge it right away, even when the ball is still ongoing. They're going to allow the challenge after Bobby Celso had a conversation with Chi Syed, and now it is Gia. Bobby Celso communicating with our technical table here. And now it is Gia back and forth with Bobby Celso. Uh, this seems to be. Okay, they're going to award the point. They're going to award the point to Creamline. So it's 10 serving 11. Chi 
Kachi opens up to Tiami, gets it back. Back row, the push from behind is too strong, and we are tied. It was actually a great decision to actually target the end part of the court of green line, but just too strong for that push. I saw coach Oliver Almagro give a sign to Z Hervasho, who, by the way, will forego retirement to be part of the PVL 2023. So let's see if she will be used here in set number three. We are tied at 11. Now they take over the lead. And again, it's the errors and the miscommunication of Petrogas that is actually killing them. And there's Z with the, the rest of the girls. Concerned look at their faces as this one sails out. Twelve all. Pontilla sends it over. Gia. The said Deputura was there but could not keep it in play. Perfect play for Cream Line. Too strong for Tempiatura to actually contain. No, and it has been the story of that play. No, the, the, the defense is always there, but it's just too strong for them to contain. 13 serving 12. Yami gets it. Shoot set from Xi. Jamson using the separation between two blockers to score that point. Janelle Cheng will come in for Chi side. Janelle was the one who started this match earlier. She hasn't played since. Cheng also was instrumental in their win in the reinforced conference. Oh, definitely, conference. yeah. They got it back. Dez swipes it to the other side. Too tight. Tots finds a way. Tots again! Hanging and banging for a big one! Carlos with a very deep attack. And no chance for the opponent to actually defend that ball. Said in the offseason, she just kept watching highlights. She kept watching volleyball. She just wanted to play again. And you can see it. Carlos with 11 points here in this match. Soltones goes high. Said again, but Cruz was there. Kretzel will swipe. Said Domingo. The second with score in the attack, but again, scored in the block. A block point for Said Domingo in that sequence. And here comes the Irvasho for Kretzel Soltones. She was contemplating retirement after F2. She was in the States. And then all of a sudden, first week of January, she was practicing already with Petrogas Angels. A few players had a hand in her coming to, to Petrogas. Des Clemente, Jonas Sabete, and Nicole Chamzon also part of making the pitch for her to join. And Z comes in for the first time. Good block there. Green line ahead by one. Z will tip it over. Gemma, passport denied. Palma guard that the net so well in that sequence. She knew that Galanza was going for the cross court attack. No room at all for Galanza to cross that net. Gemma Pinabawe. In classic De Guzman, Gia De Guzman fashion. Brings it back to Gemma. Scores 16-15, technical timeout time.
PBL fans! My question for today is, sino spiker kaya ang makakarami ng points today? Tweet na! Very good question from the new captain of the PLDT High Speed Hitters. It will be Tots Carlos, says Leashi. Given that she is now back from being or being in the first six now, Carlos has 11 points on 11 attacks. Romel Aello, Alejo says Isa Maizo could definitely carry the scoring load for Petrogas. Para naman kay Pontillas, eight points for her. From Lou Madrid S, either Tots Carlos or Gemma Galanza ang best scorer for this game. Go Creamline, get to well soon, Alisa Valdez. That's 11 and 5 respectively. Galanza with 5 points. They save this one. Chance for Creamline. Galanza again redirected by Rem Palma. Now look at her. She is hyped. She wants that fight back. Running attack. That is out. Well, actually, great decision by the Guzman to give that running set to Panaga, but just too much angle and power in that attack. Eliza Valdez on your screens. Trying to go for the second ball put away. Petrogas reclaims the lead and makes it two. And it is Coach Sherwin now that calls the timeout. Petrogas needs the set to extend. Coach Sherwin actually giving a very specific instruction, a uh, change of the combination play for them, especially that Galanza was already blocked twice by the Petrogas Angels. Both teams, of course, uh, joining the opening day festivities. Four teams seeing action today, five more in the All-Filipino. And another one, another block on the swipe of Gemma Galanza. Uh, but again, also, because they've played each other a lot in very crucial games, uh, they know how to defend, you know, they know the tendencies of each attacker. Palma again reading that attack well of Galanza. May halong gigil yata yung palo ni Galanza ron, pero lumabas. This is back to a three-point lead. Oh, there's a... There's a block touch challenge by the Creamline Cool Smashers. That was uh, Gemma Galanza swing from the left pin. Galanza also looking at his coaches, affirming that you know, she's confident that there's a block touch in that sequence. Isa's hand. Whoa. Yep, a pinky. Sumabit. Well, actually, more than a pinky. Yeah. Good challenge. So they keep their challenge. Both teams still have two. But the lead is. Still at two. Back set. That's out. Just, just too much angle in that attack of her vaso, but great extension on that cross court attack. On the right side. What's the toughest part of coming back? She said it's the jumping that she's trying to get back. Because she said she always had power ever since in college or even in high school. So the power part, she, she's used to it. It's the jumping 
And she's always in shape. But volleyball shape is very different, as you know. And now, she goes to the jump serve. A little rust for C. Urbacio, who uh, comes from uh, the F2 team. And she actually thought that was the last team that she was going to play for. And she figured it would be full circle that she ends up with mostly her opponents, her arch rivals. But no, she has uh, another life here with the Petrogas Angels. And still a great opportunity for her to continue playing. Right. Unfortunately, this lead has vanished now. Right now, it's another 4-1 run. And in the second set, this is where Creamline actually started to yeah. pull away. They made their move. 18-20 on. Uh, this time, Aiza responds. Pontilias using the smaller blocker in Todd Carlos in the sequence. Nip and tuck affair here, 21 20. Palma gets us going for this rally. Gia back set to MG, who puts it away. We know what Gumabao can do, especially in the most crucial parts of the game. Zier Vasho will move out. Gretzel Sultanas will come in as we get to the crucial part. The finishing part. The business end of this third set. 21 all. Isa, smart attack again. Isa Pontilias again using the hands of Todd Carlos. Successful in, his sec in, in her second try. Petrogas trying to hang on here. One point lead. Carlos dug up. Jumps on. That's in, according to our linesman. Man. Good wall provided there by Creamline. 22 all. Thompson was intentionally using the blocks to score, but you have Domingo and Gomavo in front of you. Miss received. And Greenline surges ahead again. And Coach O will call this time out. We have advantage now. Just one receive. Okay, we have a gusto mo. Isang pagandang. Pagandang up to. Kapuha natin yan. Bumalik ka, Jonah. Go yan, Jonah. Isang magandang approach. Alam mo yung game plan natin. Now, pag bumalik sa atin ang bola, matouch natin ang kapang bola. Malaking bagay. Pasukan ka agad. Meron pa si Nan. Meron pa isa dito. Okay. Nothing jobs, ladies. Nothing jobs. Coach O asking her his players for just one good first ball. Uh, yun lang yung kailangan natin. We have an advantage here. We can get the set. It, it's very possible. Just one good first ball and let's convert right away. I believe that's the last time out for Coach O. 23-22. Third set action. Sabete just checked in. Domingo squeezes the cut shot through the net. And it is match point for Green Line. Domingo really choosing the right direction for that attack. Janelle Cheng, that is not over. And the Creamline Cool Smashers continues its mastery over the Petrogas Angels. 25-22 is our score here in the third. We'll take a break and we will be back to wrap this baby up.
Back inside the Smart on Aneta Coliseum. It's a straight sets day here today, here at the Big Dome. 25-18, 25-20, 25-22. The Ghoul Smasher is winning over the Petrogas Angels. And 14 straight yan going back to the last Petrogas win. 14 straight wins for Creamline. Talking about consistently winning against Petrogas, they played consistent volleyball in today's game. And with the leadership of their captain, yeah. Gia de Guzman, their setting distribution as usual was a big contribution to her team in terms of offense. A lot of players scoring a lot of points. Yeah. Kimabao, Carlos, Domingo, Panaga. Now they stepped up well with the absence of Valdez. That's the action today, our double header. But we return on Tuesday for day number two of the All Filipino Conference. And the debut of PLDT and F2 and Sherry Tigo and Signal. Again, that's 4 p.m. and 6.30 p.m. respectively at the Phil Sports Arena. So we will see you there as four more teams will debut in the All Filipino Conference. Phil Sports Arena is where it's at. Earlier today, the Choco Mucho Flying Titans won over the Akari Chargers in straight sets. And Creamline does the same and makes it 14 straight against the Petrogas Angels in our second game. All of that action captured, of course, here on One Sports, One Sports Plus Signal Play, and for our smart subscribers on the Smart Livestream app for Alexis inside. Ayel Estonero, I am Boom Gonzalez, and we'll see you on Tuesday for more of your Premier Volleyball League.